Aries. Welcome to your June 1st through the 15th tarot reading. I'm Serafina and this is Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I will be having bi-monthly tarot readings. So on the first of every month and on the 15th of every month, I'm going to be posting a video. So if you like that, please subscribe. Also hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when I have a new video. And um, also a new website launch. Check it out. Description box below. So let's get started. We're going to do a Celtic cross reading. And we're going to find out a little bit about what's coming towards you, where you are presently, what past influences is affecting you. Um, is affecting you. So I'm going to pick one card for the central theme of our reading today. And it's centering. So you need to be more centered, more grounded. You need to be more within yourself instead of being all over the place, here, there, and the other place. You need to be more just centered and grounded. What presently is affecting Aries the 1st through the 15th of June? What presently? Okay, so I have justice. Yeah, there's justice. This could be a Libra that's affecting you. It's some sort of, it could be like a court case or a legal matter or um, a divorce. Something that, something just isn't, that's fair. Um, there's a just, it could be a dispute. So this could be a divorce, a lawsuit, um, a dispute, some sort of court case. It could be any of that. And it, when it could be a Libra as well. So that's what's presently affecting you. Things are coming in really fast. Things are coming in really fast and you feel overwhelmed with how fast that they're coming in. But there's not a lot of conflict here presently. I see in the past we have it just it, it plopped right out. It, and it's the two the two of wands. It's neither in the upright or the reverse. So there's a fear of the unknown, but there's also future planning. There's discovery here. And it, it looks like the court cases or the whatever this uh, is bringing the justice energy here, this Libra energy. It, it came in fast from this past event where there was um, future planning. You had your hand on all this new growth in the future and you're setting out on a new path. You have the world in your hands and you have the past behind you. So you just left the past behind you and you're setting sell to the future and it's it came in fast and now here it is there it is presently what else in the past is affecting the present for Aries and we have your energy here both of these are the cards of Aries and one card of Libra and this is the card of Aries too so we're getting all your energy here so we have the Emperor and it's in the upright so this is fatherhood this is organization. Um, this is ambition. This is the card of Aries. It's a major life event. It's a major arcana card. It's four. There's it's stability. Fours are all about stability. Two is building stability. Four is stability. And eight is also. So we have two here. We have four here. And we have eight here. And justice is 11 which could like two ones so there's a lot of twos here there's a lot of balance which goes back to centering so there's a lot of balance here and there's a lot of stability here so I'm seeing a lot of balance and stability here from the 1st through the 15th of June 2018 there's a lot of balance and stability and whatever happens is going to be fair and just and in in the favor of whoever it, it's going to be in your favor so whatever happens is going to be fair just and in your favor and there's a lot of balance and stability here 
and a lot of like duality. It, it does look like there could be be a choice of some sort. What is this choice about? What is the choice about? Okay, so we have another major life event. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So this is good fortune, unexpected rewards, good timing. And it's in the upright. So this is all the good timing. Rewards are coming your way. The choices, whatever choice you make is going to be fair, just, and balanced. And stable. It's going to come in fast and it's good. It's good. It's really, really, really good. So, that's awesome. And that's present. Like, that's right right now all right um what in what is aries biggest fear june 1st through the 15th of 2018 what is aries biggest fear Ooh, that's too much Just, you, you guys afraid of everything wow half the deck came out <laughs> you know so, so what what is aries biggest fear what is aries biggest fear just one card for Aries' biggest fear. So your biggest fear is not being able to get things to get off the ground. There's no transition. There's no rite of passage. You're just kind of stuck. You're stagnant. You're unable to move forward. This is the Six of Swords in the reverse. So there's stagnicity here. You're not able to move forward. There's no rite of passage or transition. You're just kind of stuck. Your ships are sinking. That's your biggest fear. What does Aries truly wish for the 1st through the 15th of 2018? What does true Aries... Alright, so we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So Tens are all about completions. The Ten of Swords would be a release of pain. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and there's brand new beginnings. I can see why you would wish for that. I, I would wish for that too. So that's, yeah, that's really good. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, a release from pain. It's all over now, and you have brand new beginnings. That's a good wish. So, how does Aries view themselves the 1st through the 15th of June? How does Aries view themselves the 1st through the 15th of June? How does Aries view themselves the 1st through the 15th of June? Right. So, of course, I don't, I'm not taking that many. How, how does one card, one card, please? Please. Okay. Huh? All right. One card for how Aries views themselves the first through the 15th, please. Thank you. All right. You view yourself as someone who's still developing a sense of self, someone who's very emotional, someone who has like this childlike innocence about them. Someone who's on a white horse. We have the Page of Cups, and it's in the upright. So you view yourself as some a messenger. Uh, you do have the creative new beginnings, and that you're very emotional and very nurturing. How do other people view Aries the 1st through the 15th of June? How do other people view? Okay, so other people view you as unable to complete a cycle. This is a major life event. This is 21. This is the world, but it's in the reverse. So this ends the major arcana, um, which are major life events. There's 22 of them. It starts with the fool and it goes to the world. Um, so in the, in the upright, it's all about coming full cycle. Uh, things are closing. There's closure. So we have a lot of like endings here. Yeah, there's a lot of endings recently in the cards, but um, this is unable to move on. This is being stuck in the past. So people are viewing you as someone who's stuck in the past, unable to move on. What's coming towards Aries? June 1st through the 15th of 2018. What's coming towards Aries? June 1st through the 15th. One card for what's coming towards Aries. Oops. Okay. So we have the Empress in the reverse. Make sure to use protection. 
<laughs> I know that sounds weird, but uh, make sure to use protection if you do if you do have sex. Um, a, there could be some infidelity here. Um, this is a major life event. There could just be some innocent flirting here with someone who's very, very beautiful. I always see this as Virgo energy, so there's worry here. Um, you need to be modest. You need to be modest. And it kind of like, we have all of these like twos here. We have like eight, which is divisible by two, four, which is divisible by two, the number two. Like right here, everything's just so balanced and everything is so stable. But then in the future, we have three, which is instability, which is infidelity, which is, yeah, it. it it could be like an STD or an unexpected pregnancy. So that's why you get a tarot reading. So you can change the future if you don't like what you hear. Uh, you know what's coming towards you. So just be aware of that. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Aries? What's the outcome for Aries? What's the outcome for Aries? All right, so we have the Fool, which is your energy. I always see this as Aries. And this is, begins the journey. This is the inception of the new soul. He's all foolish. He doesn't care. He's innocent, um, brand new, just childlike wonder, um, exploration, you know, um, just jumping right off the cliff and not even caring with their trusty, loyal dog and the white flower, which is all about purity and innocence and fun and sunshine, happiness. So it, this could be you who's just very like fun, loving, innocent, new beginnings, or this could be a child. Like you could be bringing a child into this world uh, a brand new soul especially with the Empress here so beware of that so there could be pregnancy in the outcome for some of you definitely an unexpected pregnancy but it ends good like the soul's really happy <laughs> but uh, yeah beware of that Anything else for the outcome for Aries? All right, so we have the queen of two, okay. Mosquitoes are eating me up. We have the queen of cups and she's in the upright. And we also have another major life event and it's strength in the reverse. So that's Leo and this is um, the queen of cups, cancer. So we have Cancer energy and we have Leo energy. <clears throat> so this is talking about the summertime because uh, Leo and Cancer, they're side by side, zodiac wise. Um, time frame Cancer is June 21st through July 22nd. And Leo is July 23rd through August the 22nd. So this is telling me summertime. Summertime, there's inner strength that you need to channel. And you're also very influential. Um, there could be a cancer actually coming in. There's emotional security. There's calm and being compassionate. With the Empress reversed and the Queen of Cups, get a breast exam. Um, that could actually be like like breast cancer so and yeah so like maybe get checked out if you or just check yourself to see if there's a lump of some sort but I do see there was some things that had to be completed in order for new beginnings and I do see new beginnings here 
and I see everything is just and fair and good things are coming towards you. Um, beware of infidelity. Beware of like something with your sexual health, uh, especially like breast cancer. Beware of that. Don't be afraid of it. Don't fear it. Just beware of it. And I do see that you need strength. So you might want to get checked out. Is there anything else? Yeah, and then I just pulled strength again. So you need strength. Centering and strength. Being grounded. And getting out in nature as much as you can. Well, Aries, I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, thank you for joining me. If you want bi-monthly tarot readings, please subscribe. Um, also hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Um, also, new website launch description box below. And comment, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, if you like what you see, if this resonated with you, comment, let me know. Um, Thank you. Have a great day.